everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you so much for joining us on today's video. Fiat, depends on where you're from. Barchetta, Barchetta, Bruschetta, all kinds of nice things. However, it is Italian. It is great looking and it is very uh, different than what you see out there. Maybe you go to a car show or something like that. The likelihood of running into one of these, uh, first off, probably is nil, especially this one being the launch edition, one of only 21 built, okay? Second, just finding one in the country uh, would be difficult. And lastly, this one was owned by uh, uh, an Italian who's also owned a service facility. So when I look at a car and I say, okay, what is the quality of the car? The first thing I look at when I'm buying a car is the tires. You say, well, Tom, why would you look at the tires first on a car? I say, well, if it's my baby and it's my favorite car or it's, uh, it matters to me, I'm gonna put the best tires that are on it if possible. If it's just a car I don't really care about, I'm just looking to sell and flip, I'm gonna put the cheapest tires I can. I saw this had a brand new set of Pirellis all the way around and I knew uh, we were on the right track. We're gonna take a few minutes, look at some of the details here, see how modern this car is. This is 2022 that we're doing the video right now, and it's 25 years later. Uh, this is pretty cool. We're approaching the 30 year mark on this vehicle. Uh, it really is very, very cool. All right, so a lot of times I'll get uh, the statement, wow, Tone, that's a great looking car, but we don't really know why it's a great looking car. I wanna take a second and I wanna show you some of the details that make Italian cars and Italian style Italian, right? For instance, like the covered headlights like this. There's a very few cars out there with covered headlights like this. It's a great design, okay? Even the NSX eventually came out with uh, something like this instead of the pop-ups. Great looking wheel set, the Pirelli tires that we talked about earlier. This right here, one of my favorite features is the handle, right? Look how beautifully done this is. Who does that? Again, a little Italian mark on there. Uh, frameless colored windshield, see right here? There's no color around the windshield to take your eye away from it. Looks like the windshield's not even there. Little tiny stuff like that. Anyway, those are some of the things. Lastly is the quality of the paint of this car. And we're under these harsh lights and you need to see it because the paint is beautiful. It's glowing in here right now, but look how clear you can see every uh, letter here. It's so beautiful, the paint, but it's also the quality of it. The quality of it is excellent. It's showing you all of the detail. Every letter is crisp. You can see the picture. It's just uh, nicely, nicely done. And going to a car show, you'll be very proud uh, to pull up there. All right, so it may not be important for you to uh, want to open the hood and show off uh, the engine compartment here, but if you do go to a car show or something like that, the simple matter is this is a little bit different. The engine is great in this car, by the way, the fuel injection system. You also have uh, ABS, four-wheel disc brakes, power steering, power rack and pinion steering, by the way, for great handling, but also the valve cover call out saying the Barchetta on here. Uh, and I think that that right there alone is just a little dench in the detail that most cars don't get where they name uh, that piece there. But one of the parts I also wanted to point out is that these fenders here are all one piece, right? Every other car that you'll see out there has a cut here where the fender is separate from the nose of the car, and this gives it that great shape, uh, and why I think one of the reasons it looks uh, really great. Also, too, uh, all of the modern accoutrements that you'd want with fuel injection and things like that. All right, so we're in the back of the car right now, and we're looking at some things that I think make the car significantly different looking than others. For instance, these taillights. Like, you've never seen a car, not an American car, or a car sold here that looks anything like this. The diffuser back here, twin pipe exhaust, right? They designed this car to be a sports car as well as an easy car to drive. Then we have some guests that come along and visit us once in a while. Uh, say hello to Stella. Stella, say hello to everybody there. And uh, we'll go ahead and get in here next. <laughs> so inside the trunk, lots of room for some soft bags. I believe uh, they even said that a golf bag uh, would fit in here too. They did the cutouts on the sides, but like little stuff like this. Lots of cars don't do the insulation here in the trunk. Why is that important? I'm not really sure, but it's finished. And that means that there's an attention to detail uh, for the single prop rod here, this piece, right? I don't know, I just like little stuff when I see it like that. It makes me feel like uh, there's a quality build there. All right, so come join me in here. So some people get, uh, they get worried because they're a little bit taller and a car like this fits everyone. Six one. And inside this car, I have plenty of room. Power windows, power locks, climate control, air conditioning. The original digital sound system that's in here is kind of cool as well. You know, you can always upgrade that to uh, an, uh, say an Alpine unit or something like that where you could stream your music and what have you. We can always, we change that. A lot of times we put them in the glove box of cars, keep that kind of stock, but uh, the car is stock. 
Everything about it is stock. It's, it's a collector piece, and, and when you buy a collector piece like this, you want it to be unmolested and, and not changed with a lot of different things. Here we have a 240 kilometer hour speedometer. Our tack is in the center like a Porsche would have. They designed this car to drive. It's got good power, and I think that, uh, I think that when you drive this car and hear the sound of it, uh, you'll be very, very happy. All right, so we're closing up the video here. We're talking about uh, a car that's first off very rare in Italy, second off super rare here in the US. Sports car, good power, a lot of safety stuff built in, great color combination, all the modern convenience that you could want, as well as the distinction of maybe having the only one that you'll ever, ever see again. Anyway, super, super cool car. Uh, I think that you'll have nothing but a great time in it. Call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this Fiat Barchetta, Barchetta, Bruschetta, however you want to say it. And uh, if you would, please don't forget to like the video down there below, share it with your friends, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, I'm putting out new content every day. I'll see you on the test drive. Talk about great sounding, well, talk about great driving cars, throw in great sounding as well, and you got one great package. Check this out. All right, man, look at this. We're riding it in Italian style, right? You can buy American, you, sorry, you can buy Italian cars in America, but you can't get this car in America unless you specifically import it yourself, right? We brought this to the US and we are now enjoying the Barchetta and a great, wow, this really is a nice driving car. Nice little sound for the motor up and down. Don't forget too, we got the top down, it's a little chilly today actually, and we got the heat on. It is an awesome experience, I have to tell you. And it does have the modern accoutrements of air conditioning and power windows and all that stuff too, if you wanna uh, have that as well for those foul weather days. But this is a great, great car to leave work. I got a smile on my face. I've decided to turn off all the feeds of Twitter, Facebook and everything, and just go for a drive. I'm hoping you will too. Anyway, thanks so much for driving with me today, and I will see you on the next drive.